Next up. What are you laughing at? Why would you choose that picture? I just loved it. Flyweights are friends. I love it. I I look at because there wasn't like a nice, clean, full size picture of him like that I would normally use. If anyone puts any money on this guy, (laughs) look at this guy. No offense, Steve. I mean, I'm sure you're a great guy, but that that picture does not do you justice. One of uh, one of our. If you're not following us on Instagram or everywhere else, you should. Um, Somebody on the Instagram comments goes, "I think that guy just installed my cable." Right, I, thought that, I thought that was pretty funny. He's like, um, oh, it looks like you got a virus here. Let me uh, <laughs> see if I can fix that software. Well, anyway, David Dvorak is taking on short notice pizza delivery boy Steve Erseg. David Dvorak, 20 and 5 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five. And he is riding a two fight skid. He's taking on Steve <laughs> Erseg, 9 and 1 overall. Someone he says is, that Bert MMA. <laughs> I saw that. Nine and one overall. Five and zero oh in his last five, and he is making his short notice UFC debut. David Dvorak's a striker. He's a solid striker. He comes forward. He's got good pressure. He's pretty active. He has really nice low kicks, and he pairs those with solid boxing. He is fundamentally sound, and he's pretty good overall. He is coming off a decision loss to Manel Cop, where. He was able to get a handful of takedowns, and those are the first we have seen from him in the UFC. So he's sort of evolving, working in new things, and trying to get these wins. But as we mentioned, Steve Ursaig is stepping up on short notice, but he is a bit of a prospect. He was signed by the UFC before this, like a year or so ago. Supposed to be on a contender series. That fell apart. So they didn't just... It's not like the dude Jim Miller just put out that didn't even have like UFC on the radar, right? He was supposed to be here already. Over didn't work half. out. And then they sucked him up. <laughs> then they sucked him <laughs> up out of the pits of despair to throw him on this pay-per-view card. He is a slick grappler. He attacks very quickly. He snatches things up in scrambles. His striking is not so great. A, a lot of people like his striking. He considers himself a striker. But he's got like limited head movement. His his stance is wide. Why are you making that face? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> no, um, I mean, you talk about his his striking. Go ahead. It's not good. I'm saying it's not good. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Um, Nobody got him. I'm not. I'm just not impressed with his striking. But he does land. He is accurate. He's durable. But his grappling is really where he shines. His real chance to win this fight is somehow create a scramble because in scrambles he's very slick. He will just grab something and make it happen. But if you're going to go strike for strike, technical striking situation, that is just not his time to shine. His takedowns aren't great. So David Dvorak just needs to defend some takedowns and he should be able to piece this kid up on his feet. Lots going on for this kid. He's from Australia. So. Oh, an Aussie, mate. Australia. uh, Canada's farther from Australia than we are. Unless that's halfway around the other side because the earth is round. I don't know if you. Yeah. I've been to the yeah. ice edge. Fly down the go up. Anyway. I've seen um, the walls, the ice walls. Me what is Mitchell interesting, are headed there. I think we are all on the David Dvorak side, right? As we should be. But these odds are interesting. They they just flew. Minus 400 and minus 275 immediately. So I don't know if people were just like, man, this guy's in a two-fight skid. He's not that good. But it's all about the matchup. And this should be a pretty favorable matchup for him. I think he gets it done. Jakey Boy, what do you think? It was probably a little uh, PTSD from the from the Jamie Malarkey, you know, stuff <laughs> last week. I, honestly, you know, the short notice guy coming in, people are like, you know, let me let me take another, another flyer in this, which was uh, which actually a funny fight during the live stream. Obviously, I picked Jamie Malarkey, so I don't want to yeah, and, and Jamie Malarkey, but. During that live stream, I literally said, like, holy shit, Jimmy Malarkey's about to get knocked out. The way that he was fighting, the way that that guy, that guy was very live in that fight. I was like, holy shit, he's about to get knocked out. Absolutely get knocked out. And what could happen in this fight, as you mentioned, in all all respect to Steve, if this goes to the ground, very, very live. I mean, your breakdown was absolutely perfect. If this goes to the ground, if David is shooting takedowns for whatever reason, because he did have two against Manel Cop, if he is shooting takedowns, if he goes to the ground, things could get weird in this situation. But David should have all the success in the world, in the striking. The issue is his striking has been a little bit tentative, but I think that was more about the opponents he was facing, right? Yeah, Nick Lau is a very, a very alley. good counter striker. Manel Kopp is a very, very powerful counter striker. So there's a lot of waiting for David, where this, I don't think he's going to have to wait. I agree that Steve actually is a pretty good striker. I mean, he does know how to throw hands, but his 
head does not move off that at center all. line. <laughs> and, I mean, all. does not move off that center line at all. And I saw the same thing. You mentioned this isn't like the guy that Jim Miller fought. But defensively, I see the exact same thing, standing in front and just not moving your head. And David Dvorak is a very, very fast, slick striker. I think he can come in, throw a nice three-punch combination and put this guy out pretty easily. But if he comes in, starts messing around, shoots some takedowns, this fight could get weird very, very fast. But I'm pretty high on David. I actually think that he's a pretty good prospect for the UFC. See, he's got all the tools. I mean, he's got all yeah. the tools. Um, you just kind of wish he did more, and I think this could be a breakout fight for him. I uh, We're aligned here. Um, I don't have a money line on David, but I do have some stuff going on. So, premium members, you've seen what's going on with my bets with David. $9,400 in DraftKings. Sketchy card. Not that many fighters. You got to have them. You got to have them in your lineup. Yep, we agree. We don't pick... I'd say we on picks.com to unlock everything and then I list everything, but Sam Pierce has listed it for us. He did a five dollar super chat and he God, said God, fuck I, I love Sam he, Pierce, man. He he, comes in, he, he shows up all every stream and supports. There's a lot of you that really support every stream. We appreciate you and Sam Pierce is one of those people. 